Hi, my name is Matt Cattersall. I'm one of the uh, assistant professors in the Department of Medicine, Division of Cardiovascular Medicine. And so today, I, we're, we're looking at a poster um, kind of tying research together with asthma and cardiovascular disease. Asthma is a, a big public health uh, issue because over 25 million United States adults have, have asthma. And there's some overlap between asthma and cardiovascular disease in that they both are inflammatory conditions. They both kind of center their physiology or pathophysiology around inflammation. So we decided to look at the link between asthma and cardiovascular disease in a, in a homegrown Wisconsin Sleep Cohort study. So, so we looked at the Wisconsin Sleep Cohort, which is a study of, of state of Wisconsin workers that have been going on since the 1980s. And we looked at the people with asthma, the people with early onset asthma, and the people with late onset asthma. Because we know that there is a difference between when you develop asthma, early or late, and based on a little bit on the physiology between the two syndromes. And what we looked at was cardiovascular events within, these, within the people without asthma, people with early onset asthma, and people with late onset asthma. What we found is that Compared to the non-asthmatics, the people with late onset asthma, even after adjusting for certain confounders such as age and gender, blood pressure and cholesterol, we found that people with late onset asthma had about a 50% higher risk of having a cardiovascular event over the 13 year uh, observation time period. This kind of fits again with our understanding of what early onset and late onset asthma and asthma as a whole is. We think again that they share inflammation with cardiovascular disease, so it makes sense that people with late onset asthma may have a higher risk of cardiovascular events.